Hello and welcome to day number 150 something. I've kind of lost track, unfortunately. And I think my lights are about to die as well, especially this one over here. Um, yeah, so uh, things are going pretty good. Uh, it's been a couple of days now since I uploaded a video. I really meant to edit something on Sunday, but I didn't get round to it. Um, basically, there's been a lot that's happened. Um, so Saturday, Saturday night, I went out with uh, with some friends, uh, played magic. Um, it was meant to be that everyone was going to come over and we'd play my magic cube, um, but that didn't actually work out. Um, no one really turned up. There was just like three of us there who were playing, so uh, couldn't get that going. Um, and then I, I just felt really tired, so I, I left early. But while I was there, um, I got an email from someone in German, and I didn't really understand it, but there was a couple of words that jumped out, like Kita and, um, you know, <laughs> stuff like that, and, and the word Erst, which is first. I was like, I, I wasn't expecting something like this on a Saturday, or indeed ever. So, um... I grabbed, grabbed, the, uh, grabbed a, a screenshot and I, I plugged it into the, uh, the Google Translate app. The lights died, by the way, so... Yeah. Um, and it basically says uh, there's a key to spot available, like a kindergarten spot available for Rowan. Um, and, you know, it, it's basically... This email is like first come, first served. Whoever replies to it has a chance of getting it because someone has dropped out, someone's taken their child out of the running. So I sent an email back as quickly as I could um, on Saturday and basically said like, look, we've been looking for so, so long. We've been looking for like a year and a half. If we can get this, that's absolutely perfect. If we can't, fair enough. Um, there is a thing that's you know, stopping us from just saying like, here's all the stuff, we've got everything ready, which is our Kita voucher has just to say ran out, which is true, it, it's ran out really recently. Um, so, you know, I, it, instead of going off and, and getting that refresh like first thing, because it's been so long, it's been a year and a half that I've been looking, these vouchers are good for like three months at a time. So instead of going off and getting it done straight away, I'd sort of like left it for a couple of days. And now I've got this thing where I'm like, I need the voucher. So I'm going to go along tomorrow, Tuesday morning, and pick that up. Or, or at least like put all the documentation in so I can get it refreshed. And then hopefully I'll have it by the time that it comes to the key to starting uh, in uh, middle of November. So, uh, so yeah, that's... That's awesome. Uh, Sunday, and, and in fact today, like now, I've spent most of my day just trying to like organize files, get pieces of paper, because we need like passports and birth certificates and proof of vaccinations and this and that and the other and blue. And it's just been a little bit of a nightmare, unfortunately. But what are you going to do? Like, it, it needs to be done. And once he's in there, that means that I can then go off and I can actually start learning German properly. I can I can get into a school. I can I can actually study it. I can speak it an awful lot more because at the minute I do speak it, but not very much. And I find it really hard to like pick the right words and the right phrasing to actually like communicate what I'm trying to get across. You know. Uh, and, you know, there's some, like, hearing comprehension that's just not working. And, and you know, if, if it's written down, I can kind of get it. If someone talks at me, I can kind of get from the context what they're saying. But sometimes it's a, it's a swing and a miss, you know? So hopefully I'll be able to get that sorted. Then once I've got my qualifications in German, once I've got to a certain level, hopefully within about a year, year and a half, then I'll be able to go off and get a job and I can actually start like bringing some money into the household as opposed to leeching off of my, my darling wife who is far too patient. So there's that, yay. Um, other than that, uh, 
basically like every day has been fine like saturday has been fine um i did struggle a little bit i i because i was going to the pub i i thought you know i i'm probably not going to be allowed to take my own food there and then the more that i thought about it i was like well maybe they'll make an allowance because i can't have pizza which is the only thing that they sell apart from like cans of nuts which also i can't have and there's beer and I can't drink the beer either. So, I don't know, like, take along some carrots. So I stopped off at Lidl, I picked up a bag of carrots and uh, a little pack of cherry tomatoes uh, and, uh, and like a little pesto thing that didn't look like it had too much oil or anything in. Because uh, as far as I'm aware, tiny little bits are okay when you're on the Mary's Mini, it, because most sauces contain some oil or some salt or, you know, that sort of thing, so long as it's a very, very minuscule amount. And this one pesto that I found out of like the seven that were available in Lidl, go away, that's a fruit fly still driving me insane. There's traps everywhere and there's still at least one flying around. Um, yeah, so uh, this uh, pesto thing, um, is literally like just blended bell peppers uh, with some other vegetables in uh, and like a tiny little amount of oil. Like I think for, for, uh, uh, for every 100 grams, it's something like 15 grams of oil, which for a pesto is pathetic. And I thought, look, I'm, I'm eating full-sized carrots. If I, well, like a couple of full-sized, there were some small ones as well. Um, God, I took along two full-sized that I peeled myself. Um, if I just dip them in the end of it, just a little bit, then that should be fine because like one serving of this jar is like a quarter of the jar. So if I use way less than that, I should be okay. So, uh, so you know, like ate those as a snack, came home, ate more potatoes. Um, I should actually show you what I because I didn't record on Saturday. So here's like what I ate. And more of what I ate and even more of what I ate um, all of Saturday, etc, etc, etc. And then I didn't record yesterday for Sunday, so here's what I ate on Sunday as well. Let's get that all out of the way. Do, 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 do. There we go. That should be, that should be more than enough time. Um, yeah, Sunday as well, all good. Saturday, I was, don't get me wrong, I was very, very tempted to have a beer, but I didn't because, you know, I'm, I'm a good boy. I know what I need to do and I know what I need to not eat. So I stuck with it as best I could and I was compliant, which is great. Uh, Sunday, also compliant. You've seen what I've eaten. Um, it was definitely a little bit harder. Like I, I think I'm over the midweek hump and now I'm starting to get to the point where like I'm, I'm really starting to get a little bit sick of potatoes. Um, <laughs> like today especially was just awful but yesterday yesterday I, I, I was tempted by a couple of little things like especially bread like I, I, I gave Rowan a couple of slices of bread and I, I you know I was like no <laughs> take take those boy <laughs> so there's that um today has been pretty much fine like as I say I've, I've been a little bit tempted by stuff uh, which hasn't been great. Like I, I've, I've definitely been tempted. Oh God, the other light's gone now as well. Oh, this is going to look awful. Um, yeah, I, I've been tempted by chocolate today, and I've had this deep-seated desire to eat bread and uh, stuff that isn't potato. And I've, I, like, I'm okay. Like, I, I've gotten past that. I think, like, don't get me wrong, I still definitely would take it if it was offered to me and I was told there was no consequences, but it's sticking by the rules as, as best I can, you know? Um, I've got an absolute 
ton of potatoes in the fridge. I've still got some mash. I've got loads of roasted vegetables that I did, uh, roasted potatoes, that sort of thing. So I should be okay. I think I might, I'll tell you what, uh, I might, might, I'm not sure, I might shave a couple of carrots and have them with some salsa. If I do, I'll put a picture here. Here now, or whatever it is that I ate is there now. Um, yeah, there we go. That should be that should be good enough <laughs> record keeping. Um, as far as I'm aware, today was day eight. I'm fairly certain it was day eight, which means we've only got two more days of this potato-based madness left to go before I can like switch and have something a little bit different. Um, even if it's only for one day or something, and then I, I, I try and stick to the same rules as a mini up until my mum gets here, which I think she's I think she's turning up either on the 27th or the 30th or something. I, I can't remember exactly. I think it's the 30th. Um, but yeah, I'm 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 hoping, <laughs> hoping I can keep everything going up until then. Like I, I really need to make more progress on this weight loss thing. Um, what did I do? Oh yeah. So yesterday I, uh, I, I tried putting together the, um, the first sort of cut of the time-lapse, like from day one all the way through till now. Like there's a couple of days where I haven't taken pictures and that sort of thing, but you're not going to see because each picture is just like one frame in, in every single second. And it's like 30 frames per second, if not less. So... <laughs> Uh, to, to that end, I had to like scale the pictures because you know it's it's me on a morning. I'm, I'm taking a photograph with my phone. Like you'll you'll see eventually when I post it, um, and you know like bleary eyed sort of like half the half the photographs are you know like I'm I'm awake. I'm like you know sort of like pulling a face for the camera, and the other half are like this. So uh, <laughs> they, they're not really consistent with, uh, with you know, photography skill. Um, but I, I put the day one and day 157, I think it was, like day 157 and day one, up against each other, scaled them to the right size so that, you know, my head's the same height and, and my feet are in the same place and all that sort of thing. And it's scary. It really is, like... I, I've been looking at myself every now and again and sort of saying, oh, things have changed a bit. Oh, that, that's, that's a bit different. That's a bit nice. And I've never really like took that step back and looked at it because I'm taking these pictures every single morning. I don't really like go back and compare them. Like every now and again I have. But that was like day one compared to day 30, day one compared to day 50, that sort of thing. It, it's it's not been like a, that massive an amount of time. Now I've checked it like a hundred odd days, 150 odd days. Oh boy, that is a difference. That is a massive difference. I mean, like there's still a lot to go. There's still a lot of progress to be made, but oof. Like I've, I, I, I've impressed myself and hopefully I'm going to keep impressing myself and carry on even more, like using that as, as my like non-scale victory and, and pushing forward with it because after my first, so my first half of the week, a lot of weight loss on this Mary's Mini, everything's been great and now it's slowed down a little bit. Now, whether that's just like what I'm eating, if I've done something wrong or something different, if it's like, you know, I'm, I'm retaining water, if, you know, there's there's all sorts of reasons for it. I know there's a, a few people that struggle with weighing every single day. I am the biggest, like, the biggest proponent of deciding whether you weigh yourself every single day or just like once a week or once a month even. Like, don't ever get caught up on the numbers. If you look back through the early vlogs, I've got caught up on the numbers like there's no tomorrow and it's awful. But, you know, there's 
things you can do. Ah, oh, dearie me. Right. Okay. I'm I'm going to go and I will see you all tomorrow. I'm I'm absolutely positive I'm going to record something tomorrow and I'm going to upload it tomorrow because tomorrow is the way in and there's still a couple of days left on the mini. I think I think my final day is like Wednesday. So my actual like Mary's mini 3 over with completely done weigh-in is going to be like thursday i think but anyway like yeah um yeah tomorrow's weigh-in i'll do a weigh-in and i don't know we'll sort of see how i'm going and where we are with everything okay cool thank you very much for joining me hope everyone's doing really good with this multi-group mini thing <laughs> that, uh, that atlanta creole is, is leading the charge on and uh yeah see you tomorrow have a good one. Bye-bye.